the air defense deployed to protect the Belarusian air borders have become much more effective as another unit armed with S-400 Triumph missile systems has entered combat duty, Beltier learned on June 30 from the Defense Ministry. Commander of Belarus Air Force, an air defense of the armed forces Andrei Lukianovich noted that June 30 was a landmark day not only for the unit that has entered combat duty but also for the air force and air defense, a unit armed with most advanced S-400 anti-aircraft missile systems has entered combat duty. What is even more important is that it happened in the run-up to our most important holiday, the Independence Day of the Republic of Belarus. According to him, being fully armed is more important today than ever given the current difficult military and political situation around Belarus. The personnel have taken a training course on how to use the modern equipment, honed their skills at the Kapustinya training ground and are ready to perform the main task facing the air defense forces, Andrei Lukianovich stated. Background Belarus President Alexander Lukashenko turned to his long-standing ally and only protector, Russia, for assistance to strengthen its air defense. To increase its grip on the regime and country, the Russian government decided to provide their advanced S-400 Triumph air defense missile systems to their Belarusian counterparts. The Belarusian military, together with Russian experts, embarked on the task of setting up the S-400 air defense systems across the country. The process was meticulously planned and executed, ensuring every installation was strategically positioned to maximize defense capabilities. The relationship between Belarus and Russia is growing stronger in the wake of the induction of the S-400 missile systems. Joint military exercises and collaboration between the two nations have become more frequent. S-400 Triumph The S-400 Triumph, NATO reporting name, SA-21 Growler, previously known as the S-300 PMU-3, is a mobile, surface-to-air missile, SAM system developed in the 1990s by Russia's NPO Almaz as an upgrade to the S-300 family. The S-400 went into service on 28 April, 2007. S-400 missile systems are organized around the 30K-6E administration system, which can coordinate eight divisions, battalions. The 55K-6E is a command and control center based on the Ural 532301 vehicle. The 91N6E is a panoramic radar detection system with a 600 km, 370 miles, range and protection against jamming, and is mounted on an MZKT-7930 vehicle. Six battalions of 98ZH-6E surface-to-air missile systems, an independent combat system, can track no more than six targets on their own, with an additional two battalions if they are within a 40 km, 25 miles, range. The 92N6E, or 92N2E, is a multifunctional radar with a 400 km, 250 miles, range, which can track 100 targets. The 5P85TE2 transporter erector launcher and the 5P85SE2 on a trailer, up to 12 launchers, are used for launch. The 48N6E, 48N6E2, 48N6E3, 48N6DM, 9M96E, 9M96E2, and the ultra-long-range 40N6E missiles have been authorized by a Russian presidential decree. Optional elements of the S-400, 98ZH-6E, include the 15I6ME, 98ZH-6E, which extends coverage 30, 60 and 90 km, 19, 38 and 57 miles, from that provided by the 30K6E. The 96L6E has a 300 km, 190 miles, detection range. The 40B6M is housing the 92N6E or 96L6E radar. The Protivnik GE is an anti-stealth UHF radar with a 400 km, 250 miles, range. The Moscow 1 passive sensor is 2 plus 1 2 times more effective than the Protivnik, with a 400 km, 250 miles, range Orion for a target designation on the air defense system, and the Avtobaza M and Orion Plus Avtobaza at high precision detection. The 1RL220BE versions were reportedly used for jamming. The 400 km, 250 miles, range S-200D Dubna, SA-5C, missiles and S-300P family radar systems can be used without additional command and control centers. S-300, SA-20A, SA-20B, missiles may also be guided. A-50 and A-50U aircraft provide early warning and command and control target designation. 
The 306 control system can be integrated with the S400 Triumph 98ZH6E system, the S300PMU2, through the 8362 control system, the S300PMU1, through the 836 control system, the Tor M1 through the Ransirem battery command post, the Panzer S1 through the lead battery vehicle. The Protivnik GE and Gamma DE radars, integrated with the 92H6E radar system, enable communication between each battery with Baker Lee Senior Command posts and similar types, nearby 306, 836 and 8362 administration systems, the Pollyanna D41 Command Post, Fighter Aircraft Command Post, and mobile long-range radars. The system's VHF component provides sector search and tracking, with the X and L-band components providing fine tracking capability. Good placement of the radars relative to the threat axis enables the L and X-band components to illuminate the incoming target from angles where the target radar cross-section RCS, is suboptimal. The RLMS and RLMD have better elevation tracking accuracy than the RLMM and the NEBOM should be capable of producing high-quality tracks suitable for mid-course guidance of modern surface-to-air missiles, and trajectory guidance of legacy SAMs. The Gamma C1E SHF mobile radar station has a 300 km miles, detection range. The NEBOM VHF mobile radar station and the Resonance NE radar station have a detection range of 400 km (250 miles) and 40 km (25 miles) to a height of 500 m (1,600 feet). All NEBO family locators are doubled for Army air defense. During the 1970s, the long-range mobile UHF 5H87 and SHF 5H69 low-altitude locators were used. A goal of the 1980s was detection at a height of 10 meters, 33 feet, at a distance of 40 kilometers, 25 miles. The Elbrus 90 computer is used to control the system. Missiles. In the Russian Armed Forces, one system comprising eight divisions, battalions, can control 72 launchers, with a maximum of 384 missiles, including missiles with a range of less than 250 kilometers, 160 miles. A gas system launches missiles from launch tubes. At 30 meters, 98 feet, downrange rocket motor ignition activates. In April 2015, a successful test firing of the missile was conducted at an airborne target at a range of 400 kilometers, 250 miles. Transporter erector launchers, TELS, carrying the long-range 40N6 may only hold two missiles instead of the typical four due to their large size. Another test recorded a 9M96 missile using an active radar homing head that reached a height of 56 km. All missiles are equipped with directed explosion warheads, which increases the probability of complete destruction of aerial targets but are less effective against ballistic targets. In 2016, Russian anti-aircraft missile troops received upgraded guided missiles for S-300 and S-400 defense systems. The anti-aircraft version of the missile system, designed to destroy aircraft, crews, and ballistic missiles, can also be used against ground targets. The S-400 is able to intercept cruise missiles at a range of only about 40 km due to their low-altitude flight paths.